here for an early start to the Onkaparinga River. We're going to be targeting Mulloway, Brim, um, Salmon Trout and, and uh, Mullet. It's really steamy right now and it's pretty chilly but we'll get there at around 8am. We've got our fly rods and our 40. Um, to you can't really see rods. them. And hoping we'll get some mollies. So yeah, stay, stay tuned. tuned. Walking up this hill, we're nearly at the Onkapringa. Uh, we're going to River Road today. We've got all our stuff ready. Sun is we've got a bit of sun, it's a bit cloudy, but it should be a good day for Brim. Maybe not mullies, but maybe some mullet as well. I'm really, really hungry, so when we get there, we're gonna have a snack and then get the rods out. And we're just gonna be using pilchards, unweighted pilchards. Um, we're gonna use our fly rod as well. I wish I had a full drive like and that. just our little shimano reel and yeah so stay tuned hopefully we'll catch look at that James is on to a little fish it's a molly oh it's a little molly yes <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we thought they were little yep yep so we're gonna place this little bugger. First fish of the day. He's breathing. Not bad. And there's a big school going by because we had heaps of take. He's kicking. And that was on a little pilly cube as well. Come on. I think he's dead. Oh, here we go, here we go. There he goes. There he goes. Kick. Oh, Dude, look at him, look at him. That is the biggest Mulloway ever. Dude, that is the biggest Mulloway ever. Nice work, Wish man. That's huge. <laughs> it's in the palm Dude, that's here. at least 50 centimeters. <laughs> Look how small it is. <laughs> We've just caught another little mully. That's at least 50 centimeters. We're gonna release it. Good video. <laughs> Come here. So I reckon there is a school going by. Yeah, we just got an even smaller one. I didn't think that was possible. But did you see the rod bending when you had it? Dude, these ones don't release too well. Yeah, because it's just <laughs> kiddler. Yeah, there he goes. Like a little salmon trout. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a Mulloway. Oh. oh. <laughs> James just landed a little brim. First brim of the day. I didn't know. <laughs> Did it swallow the hook? Oh, it could be a 40. Could be a 40. Yeah, loosen it a bit. Oh, it's coming straight towards you. I don't want them to come. Yeah, it's a mile up. Oh, maybe not. Dude, nice work. Oh, it's a brim.
Deze nieuwe brim. Ja. Man. It was kind of dead on the surface though. It was dead on the surface. <laughs> dude, that's a... Oh, it's not baby. 36. 36 and a half. Oh yeah, I didn't even see it, dude. I just cast... Yeah, 37. 37? <laughs> that it's, was your PB. It's about the same size as my PB. What is your PB? Oh, shit. Oh, it's still got... It's getting the back. And that... Alright, keep... I don't want to keep him out of the water. Yeah, yeah that's, look, look at that. That's my 30 centimetre brim. I mean, 37 centimetre brim. Its lips were all white before, and now it's gone a bit bluer because Joshua has been swimming it for about five minutes now. And we're trying to get it back to life. Yeah, I can make like a little video, like bringing a brim back to life. Reviving the brim. But we just noticed something. There was a massive hook Wait, stuck like down this. its throat. Like this. And it's bleeding yeah. out of its gills. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it down there, but yeah, there's a massive hook right, stuck in its throat. This one's a breeder. We tried it our hardest to Ready? revive it. But uh, yeah, I don't think it worked. So I guess we'll just keep it. We didn't want to keep it in the first place, but yeah, it look, died, so. Out. Rip. All right, we're coming back from the Onkapringa River. We caught two small mulloway, about 20 centimetres, and James caught two brim. Well, James caught the majority of the fish. And near the end, we saw a 37 centimetre brim on the surface. It, it looked like it was dying, so we tried hooking it, and then when we hooked it, it was all pale and everything. And um, yeah, we tried reviving it after that. It didn't work, it was definitely a breeder. And we found yeah, babies in it. We tried like for 20 minutes to revive it and it didn't work so we cut it open and had babies kept in it. it. <laughs> we didn't we didn't want to keep it but we had to. Yeah we had to But we didn't have to but it's the best thing to do. Yeah. So, Alright yeah. guys. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.